Hi, welcome to this month's edition of Science is Fun. I'm Dale Olive, science teacher at YK High School. And you are? Colin! Colin, what are you now? Um, fifth grade. Oh, he's fifth grader still. Almost yeah. ready for middle school. Are you ready, teachers? I'm sorry. All right, anyway, <laughs> you gonna say hi to anybody before we start? No. No, okay, he doesn't. You sure? You don't need the extra credit in your class? No, okay. You say hi to Mrs. Young? Yes. Hi, Mrs. Young. I hope, I hope you have a good day. <laughs> extra credit, please. Anyway, um, what we're gonna do today is talk about sound. These are some of the first ones we ever did like seven or eight years ago, but then I realized, you know what? There's a whole bunch of people here that never saw what we did, so we're gonna show some demonstrations on sound. Do you know what sound is? No. Look at that. Oh, but don't touch ah! it because then it stops. Yeah, see, you felt it. What's it doing? It's actually vibrating. Yeah, it's vibrating. So here, let's hit it again. Don't touch it this time. Here. Oh, man, that's gotta get the sound man really bad. You see it vibrating? It's blurry at the top. Okay, stop it. And when he dampens it, it stops. So it's going back and forth like this really fast. And what it's doing is it's pushing the air. Now, can you see the air? No. No, because if you, you can't, can't see air. That's right, I gotta take it to the doctor because it's like, what's wrong with you? You can see air. But anyway, but, um, you can see sound in something thicker like water though. So hold that for me. Yes. Okay, now you're gonna see sound in water. You gotta get real close. Because water is thicker than air. You ready? Get close, Kali. Oh. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. One more time, one more time, one more time. Oh. Oh, oh, no, sorry about that. Anyway. Yeah, so sound is just splashing off of this tuning fork here. But we're gonna make two things today that uh, use sound. And one of them is my favorite device. You remember what this one is? The, the this is the one. This is the clucking cup, okay? You can tell stale jokes and play with this. Uh, but what you gotta do is, um, here, we're gonna make one right now. This one you're gonna need some help with. You're gonna need a paper clip. You're gonna need a cup. Yeah, then you're gonna need a lighter. So make sure you get your parents to help you on this one. Now, the reason we're doing this is you have to make a perfect circle in your cup. And if you try to cut it with a pair of scissors, it'll crack the cup. But what I discovered is if you heat up a paper clip nice and hot, it melts a little hole, a perfect size hole in the cup. And you can make a nice round hole by melting the paper clip just like that into the cup. Oh, nice, so yeah? Cool. Isn't that neat? Yeah. yeah. Then what we can do is put our string through there. And use the... And we're gonna force our string through. We'll use our scissors for that. Now we've got our... Clucking device. We're ready to cluck, yes. Okay. <laughs> so you pull the string through the hole, just like that. Nice round hole. And you tie a knot in it, so it doesn't come out. I don't know how to tie a knot, so... Yeah, it's easy. There you go. Oh, like that. And now you got a clucking cup. The last thing you gotta do is make the string wet. So here, let's get it nice and wet. Let's get it nice and This is the wet. first clucking cup I've made in like 15 years, you know that? Yeah. My other one I've used for a long time. Okay. Now by getting the string wet, when you rub your fingers on it, it it'll make this noise. <laughs> like that? Yeah. But by holding the cup instead of the string and doing that, the cup acts like an amplifier and you hear. <laughs> so it laughs. What do you call cheese that's not yours? Nacho cheese. Nacho cheese. <laughs> oh, thank you. Thank you. Oh, the audience loves it, Kali. The audience loves it. Okay. Oh, Kali, Kali, Kali. What do you call a cow that has one leg shorter than the others? I don't know. Lean beef. Get it? Lean beef. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay. You got the clucking cup. All you have to do is uh, hold it and then get the string wet and then <laughs> slide your fingers down it. And you got a great sound device because you're just vibrating string. There's one more we want to show you. This is my favorite one. We're going to have to pull back to do this, but this is called the bull roarer. So for this one, parents, you need a piece of string, just like the last one, and you need a piece of wood. Uh, this is not a ruler. I just went to Ace and bought some, uh, they call this molding. Go talk to the guys at Ace. I'll show you what you need. Now, you tie this off. Now, make sure you tie this good because you're about to do something with this. You can tie the knot. Yeah, I'm going to use a Boy Scout knot. Oh. You haven't learned your knots yet, yeah? No. But you're in Boy Scouts, how come? They never taught me. Oh, you heard that? Boy Scout leaders, you gotta teach this guy some knots. Yeah. So that he has other kind of knots except the ones in his head to play with. All right, now you're ready to go. Wad, wad, wad. Now you're ready to go. <laughs> now your bull roar is ready. So we're gonna have to pull the camera back a little bit and then we'll show you how it works. But that's the final product, yeah? yeah. All right, so here, you hold this and I'll hold mine and we'll see if we can get this going. <laughs> no, not around your hand like that. Now you might be wondering, how does this make sound? So if I slow down, you'll see, look at that thing spinning, and that's shaking the air. And anytime you shake the air like that tuning fork, you can make sound. Let's see Colin's homemade one, let's see. <laughs> I hear sound, but it's coming from Colin. You can see with science, you can make more than just noise, you can make sound. Isn't that great? 
Yeah, Colin makes lots of noises. But anyway, uh, we hope you see how much fun science can be, and we hope you practice some of these things at home. Remember, get some adult help on some of these that we showed you today, and uh, we'll see you next month on Science is Fun. Let's hear the cluck. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I can't even make it. Well, I hear Colin clucking, but I don't hear the, I don't hear the string <laughs> clucking. Okay, we'll see you. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> you know, at KT in Delhi, we got the most beautiful girls with the friendliest service. What do you think, Lynn? Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, all the time, all, all the time. All the time. It's amazing. And you know what? Today, they're going to tell you about these fantastic juice they always drink and fantastic milk. Oh, yeah. So, what do you drink? Orange juice. You drink orange juice. Oh. What do you drink? Hog juice. What kind of milk do you drink? Viva! <laughs> and what kind of ice cream do you eat? Marigold. Okay. And you know they come early in the morning to work, so what do you guys put in your coffee? Delight. And you? Delight. Delight. <laughs> <laughs> you see, eh? the KTA Delhi man, they give you the delight service. All right the now? time. All the time. time. Yeah. Okay. Hey, let's give more shock everybody out there. Shock everybody out there. What's up everybody out there in TV land? This is Brother Skibs coming to you with Live in Paradise. And let's go check out the surf, Big Island style. Hello, I'm Picky Boy Contos and uh, I've got Pucker Love. This month's Making Wave segment, we shine the spotlight on programs that are bringing positivity to our schools and island community. We salute the White Care Wrestling Team and its county division for their third straight BIIF team title. Congratulations to Coach Haraguchi, our very own Pakalov Youth Leader, Alan Ikihara, and his fellow teammates. Great job. In April, we celebrate Earth Day. To ensure a safe and clean planet for our kikis, our kamali'i, we must think green every day of the year. The Malamalama Wardup School kicked off Earth Day with their second annual beach cleanup at Honolipaka. Students along with their parents weeded the taro patch and stacked the driftwood. The students also created a PSA, Go Green For Me. And mahalo to Tabby Block for coordinating the event.
So at this time, we'd like to thank the Lord Almighty in Jesus' name. And from basic image, we know for a fact there's a positive for every negative. Take care of Keiki, because they're the future. Take care of Aina, because that's where we come from. And respect everyone and everything. It's called genuine aloha. Take care. God bless. Love you guys. Ahui ho. What's on sale at KTA in the month of April? Jello pudding. Cloth Lunchables, they even have desserts and smoothies included. This is for me because I'm always on the go. Oscar Mayer sandwich meat. They're so good you can eat them just like this. For those of you wanting something healthy, here's Boca, the original veggie burger. You can't go wrong with Boca. You can get all of these products on sale this month at KTA. Hi, my name is Maya and I go to Waikia Elementary School. This year, I am going to Summer Youth Academy. Hi, my name is Alexia. We are at Toy Making 101. This is a class where they make all kinds of different toys. So what else do they learn in this class? Uh, these kids are making um, a bunch of different toys. The first day we made kites, then we made paddle boats the other day, and that we just finished our airmobiles. It's basically a, a car powered by a balloon. Making toys is fun. Be a quality producer. Session one starts on June 3rd to the 14th. Session 2 starts on June 17th to 28th. This is, this is to me and this is her science and me class. So what are you teaching the kids? They're just learning that science is fun and it's all around them in their life. And it's just to spark inquiry in science and allow them to continue on to other grades, higher grades. My kindergarten and our first graders just to teach them to love science. And said, like, okay, okay, like, ladybugs, ladybugs, and Ladybugs. Yeah, and some, and I got a yellow bug. Yeah. Okay, what are you learning about that? Then? We're learning oh, about living things. Yeah. And we also learn about metamorphosis, life cycle, jumps. The last time I went, I took art, and it was super fun. This year, I'm going to Summer Youth Academy. You should too.